an answer for our zone. And uh, I think they played a, a very good first half. Second half, they came out in a different way. Um, they were more aggressive. Found some. Uh, uh, they found an answer to the zone defense, and uh, the game changed a little bit. But okay, it's a team with a lot of quality, and uh, they showed it in the second half. Thanks, coach. Your statement, please. Um, that's exactly it. Uh, we were focused, very focused, good on the execution. And then, of course, let's accept the fact that in the second half, uh, France accelerated into another level of their game, into another defensive effort. Uh, and again, it's a good lesson for the three games that are ahead of us. Uh, it's a statement of the coach, I will not play again a second half like that. I had enough second halves of that, Croatia, Serbia, Turkey. Um, we gotta get in some organized basketball, and if you you receive two uh, shots, you think you gotta answer with five shots and start playing street ball, then uh, it hurts. It hurts, and uh, okay, we played well, but we gotta face the facts also. Um, we could have done better the second half. Thank you, coach. <coughs> Questions. How important was it to have a good game after the off day of yesterday? To have that good feeling back here? Yeah. I mean, ye yesterday was yesterday. I think the whole team, everybody realized that we didn't have a good day yesterday, that we didn't do the things that we had to do. But it can happen in a tournament where you have five, days, uh, five games in, uh, in six days. Uh, it can happen and it happened. And uh, I think today, Certainly the first half we came out and uh, we played on a different way, uh, we played a lot better. But as coach said too, uh, the, the second half we, we lost a little bit and uh, that's a pity, but I think we have to take the good things from the first half with us and uh, and try to do it for a whole game in the second round. <coughs> well, coach, uh, the circumstances were kind of peculiar, uh, knowing what happened uh, early in the day. Uh, Really didn't show in the first half. Uh, no, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, no decontractation. So. Well, you know, one you have the tournament. One you have the situation. What you try to build into, and and I said that before also. If you play preparations and then you have Italy ahead of you, and, and you read the difference with Poland, then then you know we gotta find our chemistry or we can handle it. games like that at this top level for 40 minutes and, and it's like for 30 minutes we really compete with, with the highest level in Europe and, and this got to be the next step. Qualify, create yourself that Euro European Championship level and then from there um, go to work and, and, and focus on what you need to, to improve and, and take away those 10, 15 men, uh, minutes of, of weak spots during the game, and, 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 and that's that's ahead of us. It's going to be important for the three games to come, because over there again we play an uh, amazing level of basketball. Uh, Coach, you've got Lithuania in your first game, I believe, in the next round. I mean, they've shown some weaknesses and been up and down. Does it give you some hope that there might be some shock still in store? Um, our first game is Lithuania. Well, uh, we played Lithuania twice. Our first two games. Uh, our second game we played in, in Lithuania. They, they were a little bit of a surprise because... Uh, we were pretty aggressive and solid in the, in, in the full court situation and they have the message right now that um, it ain't gonna be with uh, underestimating what Belgium is all about so we got our we got our options more questions no thank you very much